Hey guys, my name is Andrew Perlot, and today we're talking about one of the factors that can confuse people uh, when it comes to uh, diet advice, and that is the variation in not only metabolic rate, but specifically the activity level of a person in response to overfeeding. So you've probably seen people online who claim that actually it doesn't matter how many calories you eat, you just need to eat the right foods or the right macronutrient ratio and suddenly all your problems will go away. You'll just shed that weight. And in fact, some people actually say you should eat more than you require to ramp up your metabolic rate to make you more active. Those that promote the consumption of more calories than you need to support the body weight you want will often say, yes, this makes some people fat, but only because these people have previously depressed their metabolic rate through dieting. I've previously covered the nonsense that is starvation mode and metabolic slowdown through dieting, um, so see those videos. But there's no question that people respond significantly differently to overfeeding. So why is that? This study starts to give us some clues. 12 pairs of identical twins were overfed 1,000 calories a day, six days a week for 100 days. And so that means that they took in a total excess calorie consumption of 84,000. Now, among each pair of twins, there was very little difference in the amount of fat they gained. Between the different pairs of twins, though, there were huge differences. Some gained only 4.3 kilograms, some as much as 13.3. Those are massive differences. The researchers conclude that genetics is the strongest driver of determining whether or not you're going to get fat while overfeeding. But the laws of thermodynamics tell us that energy can't just disappear. It's got to be going somewhere. If these people are genetically gifted, there's got to be an expression of that to burn off the energy. So what's going on? To understand, first you have to understand what your metabolism is made up of. The majority of the energy you burn is called resting energy expenditure. Just living your life, running your body, it doesn't change much except for some food choices will burn slightly more energy in their digestion, but this is a relatively minor player. The rest is considered non-resting energy expenditure, and that includes things that you do for fun or for exercise, sports, or running on the treadmill, or whatever, and the rest is NEAT, or non-exercise activity thermogenesis, which includes fidgeting, and do you, if you're sitting in a chair, do you have do you keep your muscles engaged to stay up straight or do you slump? And just the energy you burn, um, just moving around, doing your job, whatever. But could neat, just all that fidgeting and moving around and pacing and jittering, could that actually be the factor at play here? Let's find out 16 non-obese adults tracked for eight weeks while being overfed 1,000 calories a day they basically restricted the amount of exercise they could do so that any excess energy burnt would have to come through NEAT. And what they found was that the more NEAT a person engages, the more fidgeting, the more moving around, jittering, whatever, the less weight that they put on. The average amount of energy expended through NEAT during the overfeeding period was 336 calories per day, but there was a huge variance. One guy actually did less, negative 98 calories. But at the high end of the spectrum, you had people 692, almost 700 calories per day from NEAT during overfeeding. Another study I looked at actually had a guy at 910 calories. And that's the equivalent of like more than an hour of vigorous physical activity for most people. The research concluded that thus, NEAT can explain the variability in fat gain with overeating. As humans overeat, those with effective activation of NEAT can dissipate the excess energy so that it is not available for storage as fat, whereas those with lesser degrees of NEAT activation will likely have a greater fat gain and be predisposed to develop obesity. We have no reason to think that a high carb diet or lots and lots of overfeeding will change this. It appears, as far as we know, to be entirely genetic. 
So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. You know that I have done these experiments myself. I've previously done a video about my overfeeding experiments, basically proving the point that uh, actually you'll just get fat eating more than you need. And uh, I, I think this is a, a topic that should not discourage you just because you have a slower metabolism and you're burning less energy through NEAT does not mean that you should despair and give up on a quest for weight loss. And that is very simply because you are no different than the people who came before you. Let's go back in time 100 years, 200 years. What do people look like? They're almost universally thin. And, and their metabolic rate differences and their differences in uh, energy expenditure and eat uh, were just as apparent and yet they weren't fat. So what that tells us is that despite all this variability, people can achieve and maintain healthy body weights, slim body weights, even though they uh, may, may not have the natural advantage that others have. It may be a little harder, it may require a little more work, but it is doable. And uh, one of the reasons why I've um, you know, really kind of talked so much about these issues is because I want people to understand that you, there are variables. It's it th thermogenesis, the law of thermodynamics, you can't break it. But there's, there's variables in there that make it a little bit confusing and that leads people to faulty, uh, to faulty assumptions like, oh, you know, this calorie thing doesn't even matter or, or whatever it may be. Uh, so if you're interested in losing weight, if you uh, want to shed those pounds, check out my book, Raw Food, Weight Loss and Vitality. It's helped a lot of people who thought that they could not shed weight, uh, that they were just doomed to be overweight. Suddenly they can lose weight. Uh, so I highly suggest you check it out. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, leave me a comment in the comment section below. See you later.